Susan here. Tonight I am going to share three birthday cards with you. But I thought I'd start by showing you this uh, layout that I made earlier in the week. Um, yeah, and now my Facebook's acting funny. Okay, I don't know what it wants me to do, but I'm just going to keep going and pretend that we're all here because that's all I know to do. Um, this I made for an international blog hop and I used our new bundle. Actually, it's an entire suite of products that are called Butterfly, Butterfly Brilliance, but the entire suite is Butterfly Bouquet. In the suite, you get two sets of dies. One for these individual butterflies that I used, and then another that actually cuts the stamps. So you stamp this, and since that would be face down, you put this over. Oops, I'm off camera, sorry. You can put this over, and it stamps all of the butterflies that were, it, yeah, it cuts all the butterflies that you've just stamped at once. The other thing this does, there is a butterfly bijou paper that comes with it. Or, well, you purchase that. If you get the entire suite, it comes as one big product um, where you would get the stamps, the dies, the paper, and some additional paper that's 12 by 12, and it's kind of naturally woody looking. So, yeah, that's the entire bundle. Um, what we're using tonight are the stamps, the dies, and the paper. But the paper is really nice also. It has all of these prints, and I want to say there's 48 of them. And I really like the backs as well as the fronts. But look at this. There's a bunch of these. And one of the things we're doing for tonight's class is I use this and cut out the butterflies to go on the front of some of the cards. And that'll save me time doing that later. And I didn't have to stamp and color all of the butterflies. So this is kind of neat. Um, I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to tell you that I've already cut all of the pieces for tonight. But I have not assembled them. So this is where the demonstrator in me hopes this works out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me put stuff away. And then we'll start on our first card. I um, spent the biggest part of the day working on something else, and then I realized that what I had planned to do tonight, that all of the parts weren't here yet. I'm waiting for one more stamp set, and that was for my class to go. So I just decided to switch gears and to go with um, this birthday card class, which I was going to do last week. Oh, look what I found! My bone folder. Okay, actually, I didn't find my bone folder. I went ahead and bought a new one. So, what I have done for this card, I have cut and scored, and then I've cut, and I told you I'm using some of the butterflies that are already, that I already cut out earlier, and then I've got some sequins. And I just realized I put the stamps away, and I need those. So, let me get this guy back out. <clears throat> yes, the frog in my throat is still with me. And I still don't like him. Alright, so where I, what I want to do is stamp a background on this piece of cardstock for the front of my card. And I'm not sure which color I'm going to like best. So, I may need to just do a little test somewhere. And where I think I'm going to do this is on part of this that's going to be hidden. I want to see how it looks in this color. And you know what? I think that's going to look really good. Maybe not too dark. And again, that's going to be hidden, so it's not going to matter that that's on there. I've put a piece of white, just cheapo, cheapo cardstock that I got through Amazon down to cover my desk because this is a large stamp set. It's going to be bigger than my card front. 
So, and I'm stamping in Bumblebee. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right here and press down. <clears throat> and there we go. That's going to be my basic background for this card. And I just saved my desktop from that. So now what I'm going to do, I rarely do cards that open this way, so my friend Bernice will be so happy. But see how that's going to go right on there and how pretty that looks? Oh, you know what I forgot to grab was some twine. Well, I have this entire thing of twine. I think I'm going to use maybe this linen kind of thing. will look better. I'm not sure. I thought about white, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so for this card, I told you we're already we're going to use these. And one's going to go down here. One's going to kind of go in the middle. And, well, maybe he's going to go over here. I don't know. I'm just kind of making this up as I go here. And one's going to go up here. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals, flip these boys over, put some dimensionals on them. I really, really love this set. I'm also going to tell you, this is only my second day using this bundle. I have been busy preparing something for the end of the month. And today I spent most of the day working on my newsletter and realized I still can't get it ready because I wanted to include the kit of the month in it. So I'm kind of struggling. I may have to do part A and part B of my newsletter this month just so I can get out the part about my little mini stamp camp for the end of the month. It's going to be fun. All right, so let me put this guy on here and take these off. And I'm working a little low again. Am I not? You know, I tend to do that. Okay, I'm put this guy right down here. And then this last little peachy orange which I think actually matches our pretty pink, whatever that's called, that is escaping me because I can't see that far till my new glasses come. There we go. That's going to be the basic part of our card. Then I'm going to take a little scrap of cardstock that I have saved back here where I have cut pieces and um, yeah, then I didn't actually need them right then. So I'm going to cut this maybe half an inch wide and that actually might be too wide I don't know we'll find out mm, that's pretty good I'm gonna cut that and put this one aside and let me look at this and see what the back looks like this will work I'm gonna cut this also half an inch wide and I need like one more little color so this one's left over by the way this is where I punched out those butterflies I saved it so you could see I'm sorry I die cut those butterflies I'm constantly calling my punches stamps and my dies punches I don't know okay so what we're gonna do now is I need a sentiment and there's actually no words that come with this particular stamp set. And I wanted this to be a birthday card, so I'm just opening up this really cute flamingo. And I'm going to borrow his very simple happy birthday. And lay this down this way so it's the right way. And is my head in there? Probably. And if it's not, I'm surprised. I'm also just going to use <clears throat> some basic black ink. Sure I am. All right. And one well, of the first things I'm going to do, this is a new stamp. So I've got a piece of scrap paper off to the side. I want to be sure that it's inking well. So here we go. I'm just going to put this on here. Our basic happy birthday. I'm going to put our stamp aside, 
cut that and then maybe layer a couple of these together so they're just a tiny tiny touch bigger and push all that aside and create some kind of little sentiment tag here. What do you think? If we kind of do this like that? Yeah, I'm struggling. All right, how's that? Uh, that, kind of like that. Although I actually like this bottom color better and I think it's going to match what's on there better. So I'm going to stop dilly-dallying and just put this together in a way that I'm going to like it. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to pretend I do because, you know, I'm not going to get a, not going to make you wait while I do this over again. Actually, I think this is going to be okay. The other thing I think I want to do is find these guys and maybe use a couple of these little edges and pop up our happy birthday. So the edge of the dimensional will add that effect to help. All right. I didn't exactly center that on there, but you know, I think it's going to be okay. Last thing I'm going to do is just maybe tie a little twine around here. And this truly is an easy card, as you can see. It's coming together so fast. I'm just um, messing around a little bit. Thanks. I just got notice that's, that uh, one of my friends said, nice basket. Yeah, I took somebody's advice, and I think it was that friend. All right, so I got this tied, sort of, kind of. There we go. I'm going to trim the end and figure out where we're going to put this. And I'm thinking, you know, right across here maybe? That's a good place. But what I'm going to need to do is put a dimensional on one end. And since this has already popped up, I'm just going to put a little glue on this end so that it sits up right there on that ledge. And boom. All right. Let's add some dimensionals to the four corners here just to hold this up off of the base card. Crystal, I don't know if you were here when I uh, tested my ink on the part of the card that's going to be hidden. I am clearly going to just say I have never done that before, but it worked. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add this right here and voila there's birthday card number one very simple pretty quick okay back in my fun little basket all right birthday card number two a little bit more complicated but not terribly okay this one has a few steps for this one for this card i cut out not only some of the um paper butterflies using the die, you know, the big die and the paper that I showed you earlier. But I also cut a ton of the loose but the loose individual butterflies um, to use as a background. And I'm just gonna fess up. I saw someone else had done this and I thought it was super cool. So we're going to find out how hard this is to do because remember I told you I've never put these cards together before? Well, now's our time to find out. I'm using fine tip glue and I'm just going to add these on here. And I'm more concerned about the edges because this piece will cover the middle. So on some of these little ones, I might just go ahead and cut them in half and maybe turn it so that it's this way, like she's off the page. Okay, so I'm going to keep working down 
and around. And I'm probably just going to have to trim the edges at the end, but I think it might work out okay, or at least I hope so. I, I'm going to confess I kept trying to do this with the dies and just kind of doing a reverse embossing. I even got out um, an embossing foamy mat to try this and it just wasn't picking up all the detail that I thought it needed. So I went with plan B and just cut a bunch of these and thought I'd use them as background. I sure hope this works. I sure hope it's as cute as I think it's going to be. If it's not, it'll still be cute. That's kind of how I was on that layout yesterday. I had an idea. I knew what I really wanted to do. And it didn't work out exactly as I had envisioned it. But I still thought it was very nice. So I felt good about it. Okay. Lots of little holes in these guys. I bet you're wondering how. How? I got all of those little pieces out, aren't you? What I used our take a pick tool. Oh, see there's a piece still in there. Our take a pick tool has a brush end that eh, looking for it. You just use one of our foam mats. Let me put this guy down. You put your butterfly on there and just roll over and it brings all those pieces loose. So that's how I did that. And I did it really fast. Honestly, it just was not long at all to get them all cleaned out and, um, you know, to move on. Okay. I'm putting way too much effort into this because it's really just the edges. I don't know why I'm acting like, you know, it's the very front of the card and you're going to see every piece because you're not. Oh, look! There's one of those little pieces that I missed. It was still semi-connected. Okay. I'm sorry, I keep doing this way too low for you. You know I have that tendency to pull things toward me when I'm working. I don't mean to do it, it just happens. All right, going to cut this guy. And put him over here. And then I still need something down in this corner. So I'm wondering if I can get away with the other half of him coming up. And that might do it. All right. Guys, I love these butterflies. I love them cut in all colors. On my layout, I used um, Flirty Flamingo. I used white. And then the other thing I did was I had um, inked with our blending brushes kind of an ombre pattern on paper and I used that and cut some of the butterflies. They were so pretty. Okay, I think this might work. This is now the background of my card. It's this white on white and I can just go ahead and put just a few dots of glue where things are loose on the edges but the middle doesn't matter if some of them are loose because that's going to be covered again. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and glue these two together. The way I measured this was I literally laid out my butterfly, saw where they fell on this, and then worked around that. And I just happened, actually I did that on this print, and then I just happened to have a scrap that fit it perfectly. Okay, so these will go on here next. But I think I might want to pop these because, you know, I do like the dimensionals. And because I think I might make the butterflies flat on this one and then add a sentiment. Oh my, I've got little pieces everywhere. But it's all good. No! No! I got glue on there. Okay, let's pretend that's pretty straight. Alright, 
I'm going to put this guy, I don't know, I'm wondering if I should have gone ahead and lifted him up. Oh, he's going to look better lifted. All right, ignore that little bit of glue. And yes, this is exactly, exactly how I craft when I'm not on camera. I think I'm going to do something, and then I'm like, no, let's do that differently. Hmm. Oh, oh, while I have you here, I'm living in Aiken, South Carolina, as I have for the last 30 years. And I just want to tell you, I think Mother Nature is drunk and needs to go for a nap. Yesterday, it was like 70-something. And today, I think the high was 49. And then tomorrow, it's going to be kind of in between. And we're going to have 50s, 60s, and 70s. And it's all just going crazy, and you never know what the temperature is going to be when. So, yeah, I think Mother Nature needs a vacation or something, because she's just crazy right now. I couldn't understand why it was so warm in here the other day, and it was like 76 outside. Well, I was too cheap. I'm not turning on the air, because it was still February. And today, we had our heat on again. Though I am going to say, I have not turned off the gas in the fireplace, because it's still, you know, we're still going to be able to use it a couple evenings, I bet. All right, what I'm going to do with this, you've probably already guessed, is I'm just going to put this on here, like this, but I'm not going to pop it. And this time I'm really not going to pop it, because I don't want it to have too many layers from using too much of the dimensional. Okay, my basic cards are uh, four and a half wide, um, 11, this one's 11, scored at five and a half. The previous one was five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, because, you know, it opens differently. What do you think? I'm liking this a lot. Ah, boy, what a mess. Okay, this guy... I think I'm debating which color to use. I thought about um, putting some gems on here. And I can't decide. These are so much darker, so I guess I might go with these. Remember the Take a Pick tool? Well, you can also use it to gem up things. All right, except now they're sticking together. And they like to stick to nothing as well as they like to stick to themselves and to you. That's just a bit of warning there. And maybe one more down here. Okay, because in the middle, I'm going to take more of this. Or I'm going to reach behind me. No. Oh, where's the uh, color I want? Oh, I thought I had a little... Oh, I do have a little piece of flirty flamingo. How's she going to look? Mm, I'm not sure she's right either. Hmm. I'm looking for the right color to use for my happy birthday. It really should be black, I'm going to be honest. But I don't want to have to... Um, emboss that while you wait. So, I think I'm just going to go with this. I'll cut this little guy right there. What do you think? How's that going to look? Alright, I'm going to go over here for a second and see if this will tell me. Oh, no, no comments other than the one. Just wanted to check. Alright, I'm just going to use the same Happy Birthday from the Friendly Flamingos. This really would look good on black, guys. And I just may go back and do that in a little bit. But I'm not going to do that now and make you wait while I do it. So I'm thinking right across there. And I'm just going to put a little touch of glue, and I mean literally just a little touch. Okay. 
there's birthday card number two. I really like this one a lot. I hope that you do too. Okay, the last one is going to be just a little more work in a different way. In some ways it's easier, but in other ways it's more difficult. Now, I have cut my white butterflies, and I am still seeing where I missed a few little cutout parts. So there's one gone, and this guy has two over here. But I'm going to tell you, I was making dinner and rushing to get this done because I spent way too long working on my newsletter. All right, um, there's the lid, because I don't need to leave that pokey guy out. All right, I have taken the cardstock, well, no, the designer series paper that came with this, and I have cut strips. And what I kind of want to do is use them to create a background. I don't have measured. Oh, there's six. So why don't I get out my cutter and maybe cut them, my paper trimmer, and I'm going to just line these up and try to cut them at three because that should make them even. And I know you can't see what I'm doing right now. Let me see if I can move this up just a little. I can't because my basket's in the way. Can you see it yet? No. Sorry guys. What I'm doing is laying these out side by side on the cutter surface. Uh, trying to even the edges and then in just a second I might stop there because it's you know my hands wiggling a little and all uh, sorts of things are going on so here we go let's see if I can get this almost maybe but not quite ah! I want them to be lined up evenly and they just sort of don't care what I want. I think I've got too many in the lines, what's going on. But I can get that guy up. Okay. Alright. Got those. And these, same thing. These last few. Only this time these are so thin. The pile's so thin. I'm just going to cut all of them at once. All right, got them all cut. Sorry about that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the front of the card, and we are going to somehow create um, a place. We're going to lay these out in a pattern, you know, just the stripes, so that we can use that as a background is what I'm kind of thinking. No, no, no. I'm debating which ones to use where. I'm missing one. Or at least I appear to be missing one. All right. What I think I'm going to need to do is grab my ruler in just a second and figure out exactly where I want to put this and maybe do a couple lines. So, if this is at four and a quarter, I'm going to move this over about an eighth of an inch. And that makes the two my center, which really isn't helping me much now that I think about it. Okay. I'm going to grab some glue, which I've left open, so it's probably mad at me. All right, got some glue. There we go. The yellow. And now some butter, oop, some butterflies. That's the stamp I've been using. Okay, come here, butterflies. I 
Now I'm going to be honest and tell you if I weren't doing this on camera I would have cut a piece of cardstock the size I wanted and kind of traced around it <laughs> and uh, <laughs> probably have done it that way. It would have been faster in the long run but you know I was trying to look like I knew what I was doing whether I did or not. And if you're guessing yeah or not would be the one. Okay, some more butterflies. Alright, and um, who have I not used here? Ooh, I like this one. This one might be my top one, actually. So, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, this one. Six. Seven. And if I need one more, I'll grab one of the others. And I might just need more than just the one more. Seven. Uh, let me grab one of these guys. Let's see what we think. Not that one because of the colors. I need one that's uh, the lighter color family. Yeah, this one, because I'm going to top. Well, you know what? Maybe not. Now that I look at this, this is going to put it at just about the same distance from the top as the bottom. So, there's my card background. Now, I have cut out these. And this is what we're going to do for the top of the card. We're just going to add these pretty pretty guys and I'm gonna see um, I think I need some thinner dimensional pieces oh yeah that's just not working sorry I should have pre-cut thin guys but to be honest I didn't get that far in my in my planning um, I just had out a whole other sheet of these that has lots of edge. So I'm just going to cut that edge like that and make myself a thin piece. And put that right up the middle of this guy. Well, I am if I put the sticky side down. There we go. And peel that off. And boom. He's on there. I want a little more on this guy's head. So I'm going to cut a little more tiny piece and put it up here on his head. I just feel like, you know, I want to be sure he's going to stick around. No pun intended. Okay, little pun intended, but you know what I mean. And I might, this guy's got such huge wings. I think I need to cut a couple of more little pieces just to be sure his wings don't uh, get bent as they flap around. So I'm going to put that there. Pull that off. Oops, the back is sticking. Not cool. There we go. Now they're still kind of turned and have lots of dimension, but they're not likely to flip up and get bent over while it's going in and out of the envelope. There we go. Now, somewhere here on my desktop, here they are, I have gotten out these and I still had some of the others. I like these, but I'm not sure how they're going to work out on all of our places. Oh, I could change the end to this and that's really great for doing gems. The other, there's some a putty edge that um, you can use. But I don't want to go digging for it right now. It's in a drawer behind me. So I'm just going to add my gems. And I know I usually do these in odd numbers, but I think I want one more right there. Except for, guess what I forgot to leave? A place for the sentiment. So let me put that up there. And frankly, I had not even thought about how I was going to do this sentiment. So 
no, it's not going to work. I thought about just popping this up and doing it there. But what I think I might do... is change this guy just a little bit and what if we just stamp happy birthday right on this this is called just kind of doing it on the fly as I go <laughs> hopefully it'll work <laughs> <coughs> and yes I still have that annoying cough all right there we go a little bit crooked but I think it's going to be okay now I'm going to go ahead and just put glue right over this strip. It would be rude if I just said this piece is prettier anyway. It's probably the back of that same piece, by the way. This paper is all really, really, really pretty. Oh no! I left the next thing I need to show you. Alright, so the uh, really OCD part of me wants to trim that so that it lines up with the others. So I've just got to do that real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, if I were going to do this over again, I'm just going to be honest, I would definitely either draw myself a rectangle on here, or what I would probably do is do a 4 inch, because these are half inch each, do a 4 inch by 3 inch little square of cardstock, adhere these to that, and then put it on the card. But let me show you what we have made, other than a big mess on my desktop. It's these three cards, and I actually really like them all quite a bit, so yay. Are they all on the screen? Hopefully. It would look better if I did it this way. Did I nudge the camera? Alright, I am going to have to ask you to give me just one second. I wanted to put out some information. I printed it and forgot to get it from the printer. Okay, literally, the printer is on the other end of the house, downstairs. So, I just ran through. There we go. Alright, so, if you like what I made, you can purchase the pieces to make this at Busy with the Cricky, right here, dot stamping up. Dot net. If you purchase the butterfly bundle this month, I will send you. Sorry, trying not to block my my thing there. I will send you a kit with these three cards, pieces already cut, and all you have to do is assemble them. And yes. I will even do the square that goes on there. So I'm going to let you uh, have a moment still to look at that. And I'm going to lay the cards back out for you. And I'm going to tell you, I truly, truly love these cards. Sometimes I really like my cards and sometimes I absolutely adore them. And I think these, at least these first two, fall into the category of I absolutely adore them. So this is my host code for the month of March. When you're checking out, when you pull up your shopping cart, right underneath the total there's a little line that says host code. If you click on that, you just enter this number. Um, thanks so much for spending the evening with me. Sorry I forgot to pick up my printing ahead of time. And I really hope you like these cards as well as I do. Uh, talk to you all soon. Oh, I will plan to do my class to go of the month uh, next week when I was supposed to do the birthday card class. Thanks so much. Have a good night.